why your ex-girlfriend dumped you. The harsh reality that nobody will ever, ever tell you. Hey, this is M from The 33 Secrets, and the topic for tonight's coaching video is why your ex-girlfriend dumped you, and the harsh reality that nobody will ever, ever tell you about why she really dumped you. Now, before I dive headfirst into this topic, you have to understand a very, very fundamental behavioral trait uh, with all women, not just hot women, but ugly women, fat women. But this is especially true for attractive women, eights, nines, and tens, the guys that I teach you how to date. Maybe your ex-girlfriend wasn't an eight, nine, or 10, but nonetheless, she was a woman that dumped you. And you are going to find out why she dumped you. And this is something that uh, I really wanted to go into in a previous training video that I have actually here on my channel called How to Get Your Ex-Girlfriend Back. And I really wanted to jump into this topic back then, but the video was already getting too long and I just wanted to keep it where it was and it was perfect. A lot of guys love that video, a lot of guys enjoyed it, and a lot of guys gained a lot of value out of it and it's it's still here on my channel so you could feel free to watch it at any time, maybe even after this uh, this training video here. But one thing that I wanted to add to that video about why your ex-girlfriend dumped you is this fundamental rule or law about women that a lot of guys don't know. A lot of guys who have not done pickup uh, as long as I have, a lot of guys who have not dated uh, as many women as I might have dated, they don't understand this fundamental law when it comes to women's behavior. And that fundamental law is, is that women do not reward little bitch behavior okay and i want you to remember this if you take anything away from this coaching video tonight i want you to remember this women do not reward little bitch behavior now what do i mean by little bitch behavior i mean making her your world making her the star of your movie which is what a lot of guys you know, once they finally get a girl that they like and that they're attracted to and they feel they share the same values with, once a guy finds a girl like that, he tends to make her the star of his movie. He tends to make that girl his world, his entire world. And in doing so, he forgets about his own plans. He forgets about his own goals. And in many ways, he stops pursuing them. And even if he continues to pursue them, he does not pursue them with the same heart, drive, energy, and passion that he used to when they first started dating or when he first met that girl. And she can feel that, okay? She can feel that, guys, All right? And if you're with a girl right now who's bomb, who's hot, that you really dig, I don't want you to lose her. So really, really pay attention to this video, especially if you finally got that girl that you really want. Okay, I want you to be able to hang on to her. And you're not gonna be able to hang on to her, by the way, by being jealous, by being possessive, by telling her what to wear, and telling her to stop wearing those titty shirts. That's not how you're gonna keep her. All you're gonna do is you're gonna make her resent you. Because a guy who is super bomb himself really doesn't care what she wears. He doesn't care how many guys check her out. He doesn't care about guys at her work, you know, uh, chumps trying to pick her up and take her away from, he doesn't care about all that because he knows he's the bomb. He knows that she is with the real alpha male and if she's stupid enough to leave him for some beta male at her job, then let her go, baby, let her go. Because a guy who's that alpha is in abundance. He has an abundance of dating options. You know, maybe he's not dating anyone else while he's with her, but he knows all he has to do is pick up that phone. All he has to do is head right back out to whatever venue he wants. If this girl doesn't appreciate him, he knows that. You know, just like with girls I date. I tell them like, hey, if you do not treat me the way that I feel I deserve to be treated for the amount of value that I'm contributing to you, guess what? I'm gonna give somebody else a shot at the title. You know, just like in boxing, if you guys uh, are fans of Rocky like I am. But hey, if you don't wanna step up, somebody else is going to get a shot at the title and take that away from you. Just like how girls do that to us. 
and what a great feeling it is to be able to turn the tables on them finally because now you're in a position where you have more value than her where you have more value than this young hot girl that you are dating that gets hit on by hundreds and hundreds of guys per day guys who are offering to buy them stuff give them you know free free rent and buy them vehicles and pay for their dinners but here she is with you you don't need to give her any of that but yet she's with you why because you offer her something that those guys cannot which is value okay you offer her value the reason why i just looked over there is because security just drove by and uh, i just kind of gave him the like you know and i was waiting for him to come back and uh, ask me what i'm doing but it's completely fine i would tell him i'm shooting a video very very important video and if he has a son he would want me to continue finishing this video especially if he has a son who's married in a relationship i tell him no you want me to finish this video because it will help him and generally I'm, I'm so used to not just using the term women on my channel I, i'm used to saying beautiful women or eights nines and tens I'm not used to saying just women but for the uh, purpose of this coaching video because a lot of you might not have dated girls who are eight signs and tens those might not have been your experiences yet the girl who dumped you might have been a six or a seven she doesn't need to be an eight nine or ten to think the way i am teaching you how women think so you have to understand when your girlfriend dumps you and most of the time when i talk to a girl who's pretty badass and she's hot she's good looking she has her she has her crap together and she's dating a guy it's generally them who had to dump all of their boyfriends, okay? It is rarely, rarely the guy who is dumping them. It's generally the guy who turns into a little bitch and gets dumped by her because he stopped living his life for himself. Instead, he started living for her. He started living his life around her, scheduling his life around her, compromising with her. How many times have you heard that, right? You heard that probably from your mom, parents, teachers, society. Like, if you're with somebody you love, you have to compromise. You gotta compromise, man. That's what relationships are about. That's what love is about. What's wrong with you? And then try to shame you. Try to shame you if you don't compromise. What kind of man are you? Aren't you a man? Real man compromises. You know, and then you hear all that talk from uh, feministas and basically women who can't hang on to a man themselves. They're basically gonna tell you that. And the reason why they're telling you that is they're subconsciously using that as the blame for why they themselves got dumped. When really, in reality, they got dumped because no guy wants to put up with a loudmouth heathen that <laughs> is going to do nothing but poison drip him, shame him, and you know, tell him about all the things that he's doing wrong. Every man on the planet that I know of, every healthy male, all right, every healthy male who hasn't been fully indoctrinated by feminism and who hasn't been fully emasculated, all you guys want is a good woman who supports you, is behind you 100%, doesn't give you a whole lot of lip, doesn't argue with you constantly, doesn't you know, shame you constantly and doesn't try to emasculate you constantly. Every guy wants a woman who is feminine, a woman who is, who has values, a woman who has a problem closing her legs, a woman who isn't out there at the bars and clubs every Friday, Saturday night, a woman who doesn't need constant, constant uh, validation from other men. Every guy just wants a woman like that, not some loud mouth like, oh, that's not a, what a real man's about, mister. Nobody wants that. But again that's what you probably heard your entire life that you got to compromise you got to compromise with your partner you know you got to find that middle ground and it's a complete lie when you are with somebody that you need to compromise with guess what there's a fundamental law of relationships that i've learned the fundamental law that i learned from dating all of these different women is that the more you need to compromise the more likely it is you chose the wrong partner, okay? The more you need to compromise, the more likely it is you chose the wrong partner. Just like when I made the mistake of dating a feminist once. One of the last girls I dated in San Francisco, she was hot. I didn't think she was a feminist. I didn't know until we already went on the date together, but she was super hot and I kind of, I was just kind of amused by it. I thought it would be funny to kind of date her and you know, and she was kind of, she was pretty cool to hang out with, but our ideas were so, so different that every time, it got to the point where every time we went out or talked on the phone, we were constantly in conflict. 
we're constantly conflicting with each other's beliefs. But I did not sit there. The last thing I did was sit there and try to compromise with her. Okay, I didn't do that. I never did that once. And ironically, by not doing that, the girl actually became even more attracted to me. This feminist, like she couldn't believe it. Like, oh my God, all this pickup stuff is working on me. I'm like, I told you it works on you. It works on everybody. It works on everybody that is female. No female is safe. It works on everybody. Well, pretty much everybody. Probably won't work on like hardcore uh, leftist feminist SJWs just because they are so mentally gone that nothing will work on them. You know, it just blows me away how many guys, you know, when they, uh, when they first meet their girl, they're this bomb ass alpha male who's on their path and purpose and they are just crushing it in life. And then they finally meet their equivalent, right? Not just some like semi cute girl that they don't really care about because a lot of these guys will have those uh, relationships as well just to kind of hang them over till they get the girl they want. Like they'll kind of date some girl who's like, eh, she's all right, you know, they wouldn't really kick her out of bed. She's not really giving them too much lip, so she's convenient to hang out with, but they're really waiting for that bomb ass chick to come along. And once that bomb ass chick comes along, they pretty much get rid of that uh, average girl, they dump her, go for the bomb ass chick, and then the bomb ass chick rips them to shreds, <laughs> right? Rips them to shreds when it didn't have to be that way. It didn't have to be that way. But the reason why she rips them to shreds is because in that relationship, little by little, he starts to give in to her. He starts to uh, compromise with her. He starts to kind of just like validate her a little bit more and more each day. I mean, you see these guys on your Facebook, maybe even guys you went to high school with, you know, they're talking about their wives. Their wives will like uh, upload a photo of them from high school, maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And then their husband will comment like, you were beautiful before, but you're even more beautiful now. You know, and they'll say something like that. And 99% of the time he's saying that to appease her. Okay, he's saying that to appease her. It's not coming across as genuine. At least, I mean, for me personally, I don't buy it. It, it looks like a try hard move to appease her, but it's those little bitch behaviors like that, that end up making the girl resent you, making her resent you. Because every time you do little bitch things like that, it makes her feel like you're just slowly giving away your manhood. You're slowly giving it to her. And you're saying, here, you wear the pants, you take the lead in this because I'm a little bitch and I need you to lead, you know, and I actually talk about this in my actual original dating program, The 33 Secrets of Dating Beautiful Women, that launched this entire channel that brought me tens of thousands of subscribers and millions of views. My original program, The 33 Secrets to Dating Beautiful Women, for you guys who actually own that program, what is the very first secret in my program, The 33 Secrets? What's the very first secret? The very first secret, in case you don't already know, is do not make women your psychiatrist, okay? Do not make women your psychiatrist, meaning do not turn women that you start dating or that become your girlfriend into your new mommy. She's not your mommy, she's your girlfriend. And she's there expecting you to be the man and lead, just like you are expecting her to be the woman and follow. But guess what? She's not gonna follow you and she's not gonna act like the woman if you're sitting there acting like the woman yourself, if you're acting like a little bitch, okay? She's not going to do it, guys. And sitting there and expecting her to do it and being like, oh, she's a bad woman, she won't follow me. That's your responsibility to demonstrate that you have the value that she will want to follow. Just telling her like, you stupid bitch, just follow me. You know, it's not gonna work. She's gonna resent you for doing that. The only way to get her to take your lead is to demonstrate that you are a leader and that you're a strong leader and that you're on the right path in life and she cannot take you off of that path. And guess what? When you could show her those things, just those very simple little things, she will let you lead and she will follow and she won't dump you. She won't, you know, sneak around behind your back. You know, she won't go uh, after work with her girlfriends and go like a little happy hour, right? A lot of you guys, your girlfriends are going out for a happy hour after work with their girls because they don't want to come home to you. At least not until they get uh, some attention from other guys. And the reason why she's not in a hurry to come home to you is because she doesn't know if she wants to stay with you. She wants to talk to her girlfriends and bitch about you. She wants to hear about their men and how strong they are. If you're in a relationship now, take my words to heart, you know, write it down. Put it on your, your Evernote on your phone. 
Women do not reward little bitch behavior. They just don't. And you know what? I'm, I'm kind of glad they don't. Because the fact that they don't means what? It means that you're never ever gonna be able to keep a bomb ass chick anytime you turn into a little bitch, right? That means you have to stay a man. That means that you have to keep pursuing your goals in life. You have to keep reaching higher paradigms in life because that is your job as a man. And you have to continue to stay on your path regardless of who tries to take you off of it because there will be plenty of people, not just women, but maybe even family members or close friends who might be jealous, try to take you off your path, try to make you feel guilty for not spending enough time with them. They'll try to do it too. And it's happened to me. Not only women have done it, but family members and friends have tried to take me off of my path, uh, or at least people I thought were my friends, but they couldn't do it. You know, you have to understand, guys, when you are turning to your girlfriend, or worse, your wife, and you're kind of like leading on her like a child almost, like a helpless baby that's vulnerable, and you're expecting her to pick you up off the ground, you know, she might do it just because she's a woman and she's nurturing. Sure, she's gonna do it. I'll tell you right now. She, you know, any girl who doesn't do it is a is a cold-hearted bitch. But she'll do it for a little while. But obviously, if you continue to act that way, she will turn into a cold-hearted bitch, and she'll be like, "Get off my shoulder. Get out there and be a man." You have to understand when you are doing that and you're leaning on her, or you're looking to for her to to lead the relationship, and you're looking for her for answers in life, and you're looking to her for advice about your own life. You're acting like a little bitch. And whenever you act like a little bitch, guess what? You are alienating her, okay? You are alienating her. You're taking away her joy and her desire to be a woman in that relationship and just enjoy you as a female and enjoy your leadership and enjoy your manhood and your masculinity. You're denying her of that every time you act like a little bitch. So if you want to be a good boyfriend, you know, maybe you're already dumped, but if you want to be a good boyfriend for the next girl, remember what I say, you cannot act like a little bitch. You know, and if you do want uh, your ex to come back someday, again, watch my video, uh, my coaching video that's on my channel, how to get your ex back, because I detail all of it in there. And I, and I do tell you that, you know, it is possible to get her back. I mean, anybody who tells you it's not possible to get your ex-girlfriend back, completely lying, uh, I've gotten back pretty much every ex-girlfriend that I wanted back. Uh, although when they came back, I did not want them back anymore. And there's a very interesting movie uh, that came out in 1996 called Swingers with Vince Vaughn, very young Vince Vaughn. Uh, and that entire movie was basically based on uh, his buddy's ex-girlfriend and him, him being obsessed over her and just wanting her to come back and needing her to come back. And he just couldn't feel complete until she came back. And uh, eventually what happened not to spoil it for you, but what happened was uh, by the end of the movie, he ended up meeting uh, Heather Graham. He met another girl. Just as he's like getting into Heather Graham, guess who freaking calls? His ex-girlfriend. <laughs> you know, it's kind of really trippy, but women can in instinctively sense when you've become that boss guy again, when you've regained your composure, where you've regained uh, those same character traits that she was attracted to in the beginning, um, she will almost come back instinctively because she doesn't want another female to benefit from that. That's why she comes back, because you become that boss guy again. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Uh, that's really all I have to say for this coaching video is the reason why your ex-girlfriend dumped you, uh, really the only reason she dumped you and left you for another guy or cheated on you or just walked off on you is the fact that you turned into a little bitch. Forget what all your chump friends at work, you know, maybe relatives of yours are telling you that, hey, you didn't treat her well enough, uh, you weren't there for her enough, and all this other nonsense that just isn't true, you know, coming from guys themselves who have dated no more than one or two girls, and generally those girls are only like fours and fives, you know, coming from guys like that who are in scarcity in themselves, those are the last people you want to listen to. You know, trust somebody who's dated hundreds of women, uh, who's been in long-term relationships himself, and you know, which is me, trust me when I tell you there is only one reason why a girl would ever, ever dump you, and that reason is, is because you turned into a little bitch. Okay, because you turned into a little bitch. You know, you might think, well, what if I cheated on her? She might she might dump me if I cheat on her. You know what? I've seen plenty of guys cheat on their girlfriends. Guys who weren't little bitches were able to pull 
just the craziest things in the relationship, cheating on their girlfriends right in front of them and still <laughs> like make them believe it wasn't them. It's crazy how far a girl will go to hang on to you when you can simply show her that you are not a little bitch, you know, that you are still on your path and purpose as a man, you have not made her your world, you have not made her the star of your movie, you are a strong alpha male, that girl will go to the ends of the earth to hang on to you. Right? She will pass up free dinner, she will pass up free cars, she will pass up free housing from other guys just to be with you. So I'm gonna wrap up here. It's getting a little late, but I just wanted to get this coaching video out for you tonight uh, on the number one reason why your ex-girlfriend dumped you, okay? The harsh reality that nobody out there will ever, ever tell you. So until next time, I will see you in my next coaching video. Some other common little bitch behavioral traits, being needy, being clingy, stalking, the ultimate little bitch behavioral trait, right? Stalking her, parking across the street from her work to see who she's going to lunch with, or parking across from her house, and hiding in the bushes, see if anybody comes over. So stalking is big. So ask yourself, have you taken on any of these little bitch behavioral traits where you've become needy and clingy and you started stalking her and you've sunk so far from who you once were, from that boss alpha guy that she fell in love with, you've sunk so far from that to where now you've become a little bitch that she's about to dump. Is that you?